Hi, my name is Rachel Bell, and I'm going to be giving a mini lecture on conflict resolution. So I'm going to, de I'm going to define conflict. I'm going to talk about the different elements of conflict, um, the styles of conflict, and methods for conflict resolution. So first, what is conflict? Conflict is an express struggle between at least two interdependent parties who perceive incompatible goals. So it's important to know about conflict because being able to solve conflict could impact whether your relationship is strong or weak. It could make or break your relationship. So um, it could break your relationship because for obvious reasons, if you're always arguing, you can't solve any conflict, it's just going to be unhealthy and no one's going to be around each other that they're always fighting with. Um, and it could actually, on the other hand, it could strengthen your relationship because if you're, you're finding out what each other's needs are and you're trying to meet them, so that could strengthen your relationship. If you have uh, good communication skills and good conflict resolution skills. Um, so next, there are four different elements of conflict. So this is, these are what are required in order to actually make something a conflict. So first, there is interdependence. So this is when two or more parties rely on each other. They depend on each other for something. So say, if I have a job, I rely on my employer to give me money so I can feed myself. And survive and my employer would rely on me to do my job to help sustain their business so they can get money without worry. Um, next there is perceived incompatible goals. So this is where um, two parties they perceive their goals as being unachievable simultaneously. Um, next there's scarce resources. So um, this is where there are resources that both people want, but they think that they're scarce. And um, yeah, so they could, these resources could be apparent or factual, meaning they could be seemingly scarce or they could be factually measurably, measurably scarce. Um, or they could also be tangible or intangible. So tangible meaning you can touch it, feel it, look at it with your senses. And intangible meaning you can't do that. You can't sense it with your senses. Something like um, a feeling like love or um, a concept. So, and finally there's interference. So this is where the conflict actually manifests and it actually is brought out between two people. So this is um, interference happens when two people are acting in ways that prevent each other from achieving their goals. Um, next, there are five different conflict styles. So the first conflict style is the competing philosophy. So this is where I want to always win. I want to win the conflict and the other person needs to lose. Next, there's avoiding, where I avoid, the other person avoids conflict, we don't express our needs, and it just gets ignored and it never gets solved. Next, there's accommodating. So this is where I would um, give up what I need so the other person can get what they need. I win and they lose. Fourth, there's collaborating. This is where um, we would both work together so we can both get what we want and it's a win-win situation. And finally, there's compromising, where we would work together to meet in the middle, so we both win some and we both lose some. Finally, there are methods of successful conflict resolution. So first and foremost, you want to understand in order to be understood. So you want to encourage the other person to explain what they want and what they need before you communicate what you want or need. And this makes it so the other person is more open to listening to what you have to say. Um, next, you want to focus 
on needs rather than position. So instead of looking at a moral or political position, an issue between you and the other person, you would want to look at the actual needs of each other, what you both want from the situation. Um, third, um, you can use a mediator. So you can have someone who both parties think has integrity and impartiality so you can come to a resolution um, that is fair. And then finally, you can use a win-win approach where you both are happy with the circumstances and you both work together. Thank you. That was my mini lecture on conflict resolution.